Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. As always, I'm your host Matt, and today I want to talk. I, I, I want to briefly talk. I don't have the video camera set up. I don't have my studio in order right now, <laughs> so I do apologize. Next video, I'll be back uh, with the light shining on me. Today, I want to talk about a little concept that I've been kicking around in my head called feature themes versus page builder themes. Uh, and full disclosure, I'm going to show you one of the themes that I sell. It's called Baton, uh, Baton Free and Baton Pro. You can get that uh, at slocumthemes.com or the free version at wordpress.org slash theme slash baton. I'll have those linked up below. I'm going to compare them against uh, Beaver Builder. Now, it's important to understand that this concept, this comparison, it can happen between any other feature theme uh, that I, it's, this is a, this is a, a phrase I haven't heard many people talk about before. I hear a lot of people talk about multi-purpose themes, and in fact, we call it a multi-purpose theme right now, but I'm thinking about changing it to a feature theme. And th these are themes that have uh, precise features in them, and specifically for Baton, it's the way that we can display content uh, as a feature. And there are plenty of other themes that do this stuff. We're not the only one. So you could make this comparison or arguments for some of you might call this an argument uh, you can make this argument across many other theme shops out there not just mine uh, when comparing to a beaver builder and not just beaver builder but the argument can also be made for beaver builder divi element or site origin plenty of these page builders um, the idea is give you as many options as possible to build nearly every nook and cranny on a website whereas a feature theme in my opinion, it doesn't give you all of that, those options and the kitchen sink, but it gives you a very narrow uh, road to play in where you can customize it to, you know, fit maybe one website might be a restaurant, the next website might be a doctor's office, um, but the content structure and the overall design doesn't stray too far uh, from what the default theme looks like, whereas a page builder theme you literally start from scratch and build it and build the look and feel from there on, you know, generally speaking, on any website that you install it on, right? So right out of the gate, you can see the baton theme versus the, 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 the base beaver builder theme. Let me just close this so you can see uh, without the the stuff I, it's just super super bare bones right i don't have a, a home a page promoted here but you know if i did there's there's no styling it's just white background uh you know white content background gray background with base text whereas the baton theme it has style to it already i mean of course style is subjective i'm not saying you may like it uh, you may not think it's a stylish theme that's you know totally up to up to you but but that's the idea is if you're looking at this look and feel and you like the font um i don't know the font sizes and the font colors out of the box then you're good to go with this type of theme if you like sort of these little stylistic designs around the widgets area even though they're very subtle um you know that's that's a a style that's sort of baked in and you're not having to think about it, this little drop shadow area, the way that this header is sort of laid out. Um, this is all stuff that is done for you out of the gate. And that's number one, the biggest difference between a feature theme and a blank canvas theme, builder theme, is it does have some styling built in. It's got some CSS already styling this. And if you like it, generally you're gonna go with this type of theme. Um, if you're looking for all of the, the options in the kitchen sink, you're not going to get it. So let's just take a look at, uh, at that example. So if I go to customize the Beaver Builder theme, again, I'll have the links down in the show notes so that we can, uh, so that you can explore that a little bit more. If we look at, I don't want to do that. I want to go to content. Sorry. I want to go to general headings. So this is, this is a good example. Under general headings in the Beaver Builder theme, you have all of the header, the heading tags, and then you can adjust the sizes, the line height, the letter spacing, the font format, the font weight, the font family. In Baton, and of course it's gonna vary from feature theme to feature theme, but play with me here. Under the headings, we're gonna give you the font sizes, and the font families to, to modify, but we're not going to give you all of the other options. Um, we just don't think that, you know, when we style the theme, 
we're styling it on purpose because we hope that you like, you know, 90% of the look and feel. And then you want to tweak maybe that 10% to push the project uh, past the finish line. So if you were looking to start from scratch, well, then, you know, uh, a beaver builder theme, a page builder theme is probably the smarter choice. But think about all the options you have when you compare just these, and this is just one small section, the font headings versus the font headings here. Sure, some people might want all of these options. Other people, you might not need it on the given uh, WordPress project that you're working on. Let's take a look at another example that is sort of along the same lines here. And uh, that's something as simple as setting up a website hero area, that big bold area that has the first main call to action uh, that is going to, you know, be your value proposition, why somebody's visiting the site, that kind of thing. Uh, we're going to just cancel this. I don't need that right now. So this is what, like I said, generally known as the hero section. Let's go ahead and drop that in for the front page of the baton theme. Now we use our very own plugin called Note. You can get this in WordPress, in the wordpress.org repo. And when you use it in co combination with our baton theme, it unlocks different layouts. So, or displays, display layouts. Um, so you can see here, it's got Baton Hero one, two, uh, three, and uh, three on the left and three on the right. And I'll just show you number one for right now. So when I drop in Baton Hero one, our theme and our plugin dictates the look and feel of this hero area. So it's got a nice big H1 tag at the top. So I'm gonna say H, uh, H1 call to action with some supporting text below, and then a button that we can link um, to a certain page, like a sign up form or buy now, whatever it might be. And that's it. Uh, I can edit the background. I can drop in an image. Let's just say this one. I'm going to hit save. Uh, I'm going to save and publish. And that's it. I can set up a, a hero area just as, as quickly as that. Uh, you know, no fuss. I just dropped in the, the widget. I typed in my call to action, my supporting text. And if I wanted to, I could have linked that to a page. Now, if I want to do that with Beaver Builder, let's take a look at what that entails. I'm going to drop in one column. I'm going to then edit the column. And I'm going to say, I don't want it fixed width. I want it full width. And I'm going to hit save. Oops, I didn't want to save yet. I want to go back and then I can do something like, okay, I'm going to make the background a photo. But now just take note as you as we move along and look at advantages and disadvantages. Um, on the baton theme, you only had that option to either leave it blank uh, with no image or click the little image button and upload one to WordPress. Whereas Beaver Builder, look, I can do a color, I can do a photo, a video, a slideshow, parallax. So already there's a lot more options, but also a lot more choices, which means it's going to take more time, possibly confusion as you go along. Again, it all depends on what you need in your specific WordPress project. Uh, if you're a consultant or an agency, I think it's very smart to have feature themes. <laughs> and of course, I know I'm biased because I sell this, but I think it's very important to, to have a feature theme in your toolkit so that if you need to rapidly build out a project and you don't need all the overhead of, of a page builder uh, like in Beaver Builder, well, then you can quickly build it out with this. But let's move on. So I'm going to switch uh, to photo. I'm going to select that photo. Uh, this is all I have on this site. Unfortunately, <clears throat> um, and then you can see, well, look at all the, look at more choices that I have. I have repeat position, attachment, scale. I can do all that stuff. Uh, if I wanted to give it an overlay, I could give it an overlay, darken the image. Uh, I can set that opacity, I don't know, 70%, make it even darker. Then I'm going to hit save. That's going to save it. Then I go and I drop in a text editor. And like I said, well, if I want to just put my main call to action, so I'll say call to action with supportive text. Now I have to also decide, okay, what, what size is going to look the best? Is it going to be 48? Um, is this going to be, I don't know, 24? Am I going to change this to white? Okay, change this to white. Save. Okay, now you can see, well, look, it's not, it's not as big and as bold as this one. So how do I modify that? Um, well, I'll have to come in here and go to advanced. And this might not look 100% on mobile, but 
just as just for example for this video I'll set the the margins to have some margin top and bottom I'm gonna hit save and now I'm starting to get closer to that um, that hero area that I quickly built with the baton and note widget now the difference is that's all I could do with this I could just type it in put an image move it around uh, or move the widget up and down with this with beaver builder I have a lot more available to me like I could drop in a, a column after and then with this column here I could shrink it I could put a video over here or call to action button I've, I've demonstrated that before in another video but you can see that the thought process the build out process uh, takes a lot more and a lot more time consuming so that's the trade-off feature themes feature plugins they have these quick to build sort of areas you're in you have to you know color within the lines with these things you're not going to have all of that drag and drop and reshaping resizing uh, but again it didn't take you that long to do it. it took you under a minute versus a few minutes or maybe even hours depending on how much you customize these layouts let's look at one more uh, example here uh, I'm going to put in another widget here another note widget this time I'm going to do the features we have this feature one and not to toot my own horn, but I do feel like the baton theme uh, is sort of uh, much more advanced than even some of the most popular themes that are out there. I just really like the way that we have sort of figured out these areas. But again, if you're the typical website, right, you do this big call to action hero section up there, then you say, okay, check out our features. And, you know, I'll skip putting supportive text there. I'm going to just say feature one. Um, two, three, four. I'm just kind of fl trying to fly through this without spending too much time. Uh, but the, you know, the idea is, you know, most websites, again, have the hero section. We put three or four features there. And, and boy, what happened if we wanted to only have, we only had uh, three features, not four, uh, like the default widget gives us. Well, that's okay. We just drag number of columns to three and that takes care of it. It's got this nice little uh, underline effect here, which will change colors depending on the primary color of the, of the theme that you picked. If I wanted to bump it up and have two rows, I can just drag this uh, little row indicator and that'll give me uh, three by two. And, you know, I, I continue to build out my website that way. With Beaver Builder, again, starting from scratch, you would drop in a column. And we had four. Um, four columns in, on the baton theme. So then I'll drop in, oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have uh, put that first column there. So I'm just gonna drop in the four columns. And there's our four columns, let me get rid of this. And then I would have to go in and drop in my basic modules, which would be my text editor. So in this case, you could say, well, what if I wanted to do this? I could, uh, I could put in feature one like this with a, you know, an H tag. So I might do feature one. Oops, let's go f heading to, and then I could say my supporting text. And I'm just going to copy this just to make it a little bit easier to visualize. And then you might do something like read more, link that. Uh, I don't know if I have any pages on this site. Yeah, so enter, save. Right, and there's our first feature one. Now, you can see that this looks a little bit better because it's got a little bit more style to it, just a little bit. So you'd have to actually go in and sort of target something like this and apply some CSS style to it, for lack of a better word, um, and make it look a little bit better than what you're going to achieve in, in the text editor. So once you build it out, you can just duplicate these sections, but you can already see how much more time uh, it's, it's taking. So I'm going to duplicate it. And then you can drag it across. Now, again, I realize I'm doing this sort of the start from scratch way. There are some modules that sort of look like this in Beaver Builder by default that you could just drop in. But for the most part, I feel like many people will be starting from scratch and sort of building as they go or building off of a design that they're, that they're looking at from, I don't know, Photoshop or something like that. And then you can go click in each one and add a, um, you know, modify the content or whatever. So that's cool, but it takes a lot longer to do 
Um, and it's just a lot more sort of thinking in terms of, you know, just duplicating, replicating. How do I want to structure my, um, you know, how do I want to structure this? Is it better to have the feature, um, you know, the feature title in one big text editor or do I put two text editors and uh, only have one text editor hold the title and the other hold the supportive text? Uh, which also comes into play with like, well, hey, if I wanted to add in, you know, a lot of people put icons uh, or images above these features. Well, you could come in and put an icon below or excuse me, above that. Uh, and then, then then the big question is, well, should have that should that have been in, you know, the editor screen? Uh, should it be in the you know, separate like I just did here. It depends on like if you're handing this over to your client, are they going to control it? How much are you going to have to train them? Whereas if I wanted to add an image here, I just click in these areas. There's not a lot of, conf you know, of this over, this sort of editor overlay to, to bother you with. And I can just add an image. I can just come in and here and insert that into the widget. That'll put it in. I can drag it and drop it, um, you know, resize it right here visually. Um, again, the difference is, you're not going to have all of these options uh, that Beaver Builder has, okay? So you can see building out something like this takes a lot more time. And that's a disadvantage when you compare that to a feature theme. However, there is a massive advantage <laughs> um, to spending all that time and using a page builder like Beaver Builder. Because once you're done, once you're done building out that row and getting it just perfect, you can come in here and say, you know what, I'm going to save this as Matt's greatest row. And I'm gonna make it global, which means I can use it across the website uh, or anywhere on the website when I'm building out a page. And you can see it turns like this gold color in, in Beaver Builder. And this is a feature that a lot of page builders have. So then when I go to add content, I can go to save rows and there's Matt's greatest row right there. And if I believe if I click that, yep, it'll bring me to this uh, sort of individual page where I can actually style this on its own. And when I save that, those changes will replicate across uh, wherever they're used across the entire site. Now that's a massive advantage, but again, that is like a, th this example right here is like a core reason why you'd want to use a page builder um, when you're building out client sites or your own website, whatever you're doing, uh, which you're not going to get with this. But again, there's a lot less thinking. It's drop the, th drop, drop the widget in, how many columns do you want? How many rows do you want? And just literally start typing in your content and you can sort of make some of these uh, little content changes within that. But it's it's like rapid fire, whereas this is like a precision strike, right? For, for lack of a better um, metaphor. Um, and this is, this is obviously a tremendous advantage, not something you're gonna get in a feature theme. So I really wanted to make that, make this video to sort of describe the differences, um, I believe that this YouTube channel is starting to hit a little bit more on WordPress consultants and not just people who are brand new to WordPress trying to figure it out. Uh, and I'm just getting back for WordCamp US of so talking to a whole bunch of sort of WordPress freelancers and understanding what's in their toolkit to see, you know, how they build out client sites. Do they only use a page builder? Do they never use a page builder? Do they use a mix of themes and plugins? And I, and I really think that that's your best bet. You know, if you get a client that you know you're going to be spending a lot of time customizing the look and feel of their site, they're paying you a lot of a lot of money, and you want to spend that time crafting every nook and cranny, something like Beaver Builder, Divi, you know, these page builders are really going to hit that nail on the head for you. Whereas if you're if you're needing to deploy you know, quick, actionable websites where you don't want to spend a lot of time on it and you don't want to give them um, even the chance of going in and playing with a page builder where they can come in and add their own columns and drag and drop and resize things on the mobile. Um, I know you can lock that down with Beaver Builder, but the idea is, you know, hey, maybe some of you don't and you don't want them playing with it. Then picking a feature theme like Baton, which just has features, that allow you to build out nice quick little things like hero areas, like these columns, um, then this might be the best way to go. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments below if you enjoy videos like this, if they're uh, bringing you some uh, knowledge and excitement, entertainment and education, go ahead and like it, share it with friends and family. I would really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.